Hi folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us in this week's Twinkle Tips Friday video. It has been an amazing week and another new release has been brought out from the team at x -Lights. A huge thank you to the developers. And there's a brand new function in there that I think everybody should learn about, especially since it was created by one of our fellow sequencers, Pierre. And uh, he actually coded it in x -Lights, which I'm really sh impressed. I'm, I'm, I'm not shocked, but I'm kind of impressed. So um, let's, let's share this information with you. But before we get started, how about hitting that subscribe button? We're really going for 4,000 people on our PP uh, YouTube channel subscription. So hit the subscribe button, please. Let's get right to it. Well, folks, a new version of x Lights has just been released. Well, not just. It happened last week on the 16th. Uh, we're in Windows. I don't know if it's released on Mac just yet. But there are two new layer blending styles. And this is a huge, huge addition to x Lights because anytime that you add something that you can instantly add more options to sequencing and effects, it's always exciting for us, the users, because guess what? We get more stuff to play with. Uh, it also makes sequencing infinitely more harder because you have more choices to choose from. And uh, you get analysis paralysis sometimes because you have too many choices. So <laughs> lots of choices is great. And it's, but in any event, I digress. Pierre, huge thank you to you. Huge shout out to you. Pierre is another sequencer that is in the community. Uh, you can find him. He's all through the x -Lights group as well. If you want to know exactly what these uh, layer blending modes all do, you can click on that question box there right beside the drop down in the layer blending box where it says normal you have the drop down and uh and you saw the tool tip there this is the tool tip this is every layer blending mode you can read all about them you can um open up the question box here and it brings up this tech thing and it shows you all of the different layer blending modes now the new ones are highlight and highlight vibrant these are the two new ones so what does highlight do well i'll read it right from here highlight creates highlights by showcasing effects one's color where available while using effect two's color where effect one lacks color it's going to so when you do a normal layer blending this is your normal layer blending you have a one spiral and another spiral like you have one spiral and then you have another one that's pancake flip the other way and they're going in opposite directions right so this is a basic effect a lot of people have done something like this in the past this is very simple to do uh, but what 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 this is doing is this doing something different than some of the other layer blending modes that we've ever had to play with before. So, for example, if we use one as unmask, or uh, if we change this to one as true unmask, now we just have red and no white, and we don't have any green. Uh, now you can change these again. the The unmaskings are amazing. I I use these a lot, but you can see that you still you've you've kind of lost. Uh, all of the green and the red mixed together. There's been no layer blending that ha that kind of blends the two in the manner that you're about to see when we do switch it to highlight. And so right here, what you see is you see that green, that initial green that used to be on the top. Let's go ahead back to normal. You can see the green over top of it, just like one spiral, but the red underneath of it is being affected so that it only highlights the color that's on the top and it's painting on the pixels that are lit up by the second layer or the layer below. It's confusing, I know. Sometimes with layer blending, you just have to sit there and play with it. Now, what about the other new blending mode? Well, the other new blending mode is Highlight Vibrant. Highlight Vibrant intensifies Effects 2's color where Effect 1 has content without affecting, without affecting black or dark areas. Uh, so now what does this mean? So if we go ahead and we switch over to Highlight Vibrant, now you can see, now some people, for, forgive me, some, some folks have a uh, colorblind issue and may not be able to see this or tell the difference between this and this. So with Highlight Vibrant, what it does is it's going to add the values of the colors together in areas where they intersect at specific points and it creates a vibrant color and the the best way I can describe this would be it's not the same thing as additive 
where you're adding the colors together. It's similar to it, though. It's very, very similar to it. Um, but I think high, I think this highlight vibrant, well, it looks very similar at least. So again, I'm not a developer, and I, I'm never going to uh, suggest that I am. But just from a user standpoint, this is a great, nice, extra little addition. So let's go ahead and try this on a, a couple different uh, effects. So uh, the first thing here, this is a uh, single strand effect and we have a butterfly effect underneath of this. Now, I'm gonna do something with the butterfly effect. I've added some uh, black color boxes at the top, and I've, I've got red selected. Now, it says rainbow. Now, I wanted, I wanted to point this out because I think this is one thing that many people might not pick up on just yet, but th this layer blending mode is probably most best served up with a layer that's below it that has more black pixels and as opposed to uh, everything painted with a color. So in other words, the butterfly effect is a full effect that covers everything, all the pixels, and makes it this rainbow color. The layer blendings on it may not be as attractive. So what we're gonna do to create an artificial setting for the butterfly effect is we're gonna use these colors. So this is, a, I guess, another tip within a Twinkle Tips Friday. Uh, we're gonna change this to palette on the butterfly effect where we only see red, and the rest of it is all black on the inside of it. So, so this gives that negative space that we look for to show a little bit of movement because if everything's on, everything's on and you really can't show anything. Again, just like the spiral effect we had over here, we should expect or anticipate, and this is why I use the red and green, uh, you should expect to see the green or in the highlight version, the green and yellow over top of only the red. So let's go ahead and click on that and check it out. So this is rather nifty. I mean, you got the single strand effect going right over top of it. It's only being applied to pixels that have been painted. If the pixels are black pixels, which we we set definitely to, then by all means, those came out uh, and, and gave you that negative space for it to flow through. So I really think that that's going to be a lot more fun to play with whenever it comes to sequencing and X lights. Now, again, we're using this uh, the highlight vibrant blend mode. And if we scroll in or zoom in here, you can see where it's adding those colors together and getting that highlight color, which is that yellow, that, that little bit uh, tinge of yellow. So is that, is, is that something that's interesting? I think it is because here's the thing. If you look at the butterfly effect, um, and we could actually stop this. Let's, let's uh, stop the butterfly effect and let's stop this. Uh, there we go. Um, if we stop it, you can see that the butterfly actually has this kind of gradient where it goes from a really dark red to black and a really much more vibrant red in the center. And that's where you can see that highlight is where those colors are the brightest. Now, the further out you go where this is feathered and, and, and faded out more, you just have the solid green. And so that's what the highlight does. It gives a highlight to where the two colors intersect the most, I think. And I think that is a wonderful, wonderful uh, addition. Uh, another one. This is this is the uh, this. Everybody knows if you if you haven't uh, looked at a lot of my sequences, I love the morph effect. This is the morph effect, and I love playing with it. Uh, but above it is also a um, a, a simple ripple uh, with the lines inward on the square uh, object size and a couple extra spacings and some ripples on there. And so what you see there is the, the basic layer blending between these. Now, we've already kind of uh, telegraphed this to you. So this is kind of the third demo that where you can see, you know that the purple is going to be what's highlighted and it's going to be layer blended or blended with uh, whenever we do high, uh, blended highlighted. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So you can see the effects are only being affected by the top layer, which is the highlight here. And you only see it on the pixels that are painted by the morph effect. Um, if we change that layer blending mode to highlight vibrant, now we have that color addition coming through. And you can see as the colors fade from uh, the morph effect going over top of it, we start with this real light turquoise color and it changes to a darker purple as the effect goes through. So I think that that is a really interesting addition. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you for joining us for this week's Tips and Tricks 
on our Twinkle Tips Friday video, we know that uh, there's a lot of new things in X-Lights and there's a lot of things in X-Lights in general and we hope that we're hitting all of these bullet points for you and you're getting something out of the videos that we do here at Pixel Pro Displays. If you do, please give us a huge thumbs up if you like the video. If you haven't done yet, so of course hit the subscribe button. We are going for 4,000 subscribers by the beginning or by the by the end of November, by the beginning of November. That's that's by the end of October. We want 4,000 subscribers and we need you. We need you. And please put your comments down in the section below sharing the experiences that you'd like to learn about, things that you'd like to learn about. We're always on every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. in the PPD Zoom webinar room. Every other week we'll do a webinar. And for example, last week we had David Peace on and he went through his uh, Experience Lights Pro line of uh uh, Genius Controllers. What a great webinar. You could check that out in the video up here. I'll probably link it up above. And there's also a ton of other things that we're working on here at Pixel Pro Displays. So have a wonderful weekend, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Clyde signing out. We will see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now. Welcome back, everybody. Clyde here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you all for joining us in this week's Twinkle. <laughs> oh, Lord. <sighs> Take two. Welcome back, folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us in this all new Twinkle Tips Friday video. We have an awesome new edition in X Lights that you really should know about. So, before we begin though, please, if you are liking the videos that we do, I obviously hit the like button, but really we are trying to get to 300,000 million subscribers and we want you, we want you all, oh God, oh, hi folks, Clive, I can't do this, hi folks.